2024 Topps Finest Baseball. The newest product in the 2024 Topps line of a lot of releases that, quite frankly, there should be a lot more released by now, but that's a different topic for a different day. And nobody is buying it in my area. No surprise. We'll talk about why that is. It should be pretty obvious <laughs> in this video. So that's exactly what we're uh, going to be talking about. So what's going on, guys? It's Grippy Rip. And before we get into the video, let's plug the giveaway as usual. So at 10,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away hobby packs of the newest product available. What that is? No idea. <laughs> um, right now, it would be pro debut. Um, after that, I couldn't tell you. So all you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications, and comment in the comment section of this video and countless other videos on what has been your favorite moment so far this baseball season. And I will pick the winner once we hit the coveted and the goal of 2024, 10,000 subscribers. So there is that. So not going to waste any more time. Let's get into it. And when we do open our packs today, we are going to be opening a full box of 2022 Donruss baseball. Still trying to find the 2024 blasters. I Listen, I have been to three targets this week. Every restock I have seen, and I've seen fresh restocks this week, no Donruss baseball blasters yet. Hopefully that changes soon. If not, I got to buy them online or, or find them somewhere. Listen, we're not going to talk about Donruss baseball in this video, but I'll start out with saying this. <laughs> I've watched some Donruss blaster box openings. They're pretty solid. I will say they are really, really solid. So... If you're on the fence of, you know, trying to buy a product that's affordable with good value, value's the big word there, try Donruss Baseball. Sure, it's unlicensed. Sure, there's no active players like that are in the majors right now on the cards, except for like a couple exceptions like Paul Skeen and Jackson Holiday. But you're not going to see a guy like Mike Trout or Aaron Judge in, in that box. If you want something to open that's cheap and affordable and has good value, give Donruss Baseball a try. Watch some videos. I urge you. There's a ton of people who have blaster box openings on YouTube. Go give them a watch. They're pretty good. The ratio to relic to autograph is like six relics, four autos for, per 10. That's what I've kind of gauged. It might be 50-50. I just, a small sample size, of course. Um, so I don't know, but I'm definitely trying to find them because I really, really, really would like to open at least two or three. So we'll see. Um, but until then we'll open some other stuff. So let's talk finest, right? <laughs> 2024 tops finest, a product that once again got screwed over by tops. Tops just... I don't know, man. It's it's hard to say. This is just my opinion, right? Now, when I make these videos, a lot of it is my opinion. Some of it's fact. But this video is more of a kind of mixture of both. Because I do have some facts, and I do have my opinions. My opinions on how Topps has treated this year spe uh, specifically, it's been very bad. I mean, I don't know if you guys are feeling it, but I certainly am. This year's just release cycle, or I should say lack thereof, I say that because, quite frankly, we still have about 50 or 60, maybe even 70% of the products still to come out for 2024 tops, and we only have like 50-something games left this year. So I'm not entirely sure what tops is trying to prove by doing what they're doing, but it's pissing a lot of collectors off, myself included, and all of my friends who also collect baseball cards. It's just not a good look. It's just not a good look. And hopefully we get some clarification soon. I doubt we will, right? So what I did today, because I was bored, I had nothing to do. I was going to get a pro debut, but of course pro debut don't come out for another two and a half, three weeks from now. Of course. So I said, you know what? 
let me go give my card guy a visit regardless. I wasn't going to buy anything unless, you know, maybe a couple packs, but there there was nothing there I really wanted. Um, I just stopped in to say hi. Of course, we're, we're pretty close. So um, I was like, you know, it would have been a great day to buy pro debut, but that obviously didn't happen. And I, I said, because he had finest on the, on the, the table there when you, when you walk right in the countertop. And I said, how many people came in today uh, to buy finest? Guess the number he said. Zero. Zero, 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 fucking goose egg, zero. And if you want to know what time I went, it was about 4 p.m. He opens the store at 8 a.m. every morning, which that would leave eight hours. Eight hours. And nobody bought Finest at my card store. So I was on a mission. I said, one store ain't enough for me. I got to go on a mission. So what did I do today? Which is kind of stupid on my end because gas is just so expensive. Hopefully that changes next year. We got to hope. We'll see what happens there. I'm um, obviously, you know, you got to vote. But that's all I'm going to say about that. But uh, either way, either way, I was on a mission. I went to all of the card stores in my area pretty dumb decision considering the fact that like I said gas is so expensive but but I was I was a man on a mission so I drove today for about maybe three and a half four hours went to every single card store in the Pittsburgh area and even Ohio everywhere and basically I'm not going to tell you what every single card store owner said because there's a lot of them but Basically, to sum it up, very few people had little interest in Finest today. As one would most likely expect. Why is that, you may ask? I don't know. Let's see. A box, give or take, I'm taking the average because I did see what prices the card store guys were, were selling them for. About 280 290 maybe. I, there was one that sold them for 300 so I'm going to say 275 is the average uh, of the price I saw today in the wild. And I just sat there and I just scratched my head. I just scratched my head and I was like, wow, what is, what is Tops doing? You know, Tops, you know, this is a small sample size. I get it. I get it. It's a small sample size. I went to, I think, let's see, one, two, three, six card stores today, six. I get it's a small sample size. I completely understand it. But you got to realize, <laughs> this is a widespread issue. T to me, at least. This is absolutely a widespread issue. People are being priced out of the market. You know, they increased finest this year, I think, give or take, by $50, depending on where you buy it from. Listen, Although it may be just $50 to some people, that is a tipping point for a lot of people. A lot of people. That is a huge tipping point for a ton of people. That $50 can be used for groceries that are sky high right now. Paying bills. Putting gas in the car. Feeding your family. Whatever. Providing a roof over your family's head. That $50 could be spent in a lot other ways, in a much better way. And the same thing could be applied for Pro Debut. Same thing can be said with that product. Sure, prices got increased about $35 to $40 for Pro Debut this year. It may just seem like $40 to some of you. But to some other people in this, in this country right now, it's, it's a shame what is going on, but that $40 can make or break, you know, feeding someone's family for a couple days or, or, or whatever right now. And that's sad. That is really sad to me. Hopefully we get that sorted out and fixed, but who knows? Who knows? It's, it's, it's very unclear right now. Hate talking politics, but kind of has a same theme to this. So that's why I talk about it. But it's it's a shame. You know, I, I said this the other day and I'll say it again. 
WWE finest when they had the WWE license, which which they will get again because <laughs> WWE shop is now ran by fanatics. So that's all you need to know on what's going to happen when the Panini license for WWE goes back. Um, it'll go right back to top. So, you know, for all you WWE fans like myself, Tops will be doing those cards again soon, probably. They had Finest. And, as a matter of fact, they had Finest Blaster Boxes. I said this the other day, and I'll say it again. When you mark up these prices like we are seeing right now, and it's going to get worse. Believe me, it is going to get worse. You may think I'm bullshitting you, but guess what? I am not. These prices of these boxes between now and Christmas time, especially Christmas time, because they know they can capitalize off, off the holiday rush. So whatever product comes out around Thanksgiving on to Christmas, that little six-week time span, five-week time span, you are going to see prices of whatever product, like draft, for example. I can guarantee you everything on, everything I own, draft will be increased in price this year. Probably by at least $60 to $70. Mark my words. I can guarantee it. But when you do that, Tops, and fan Fanatics especially, you got to make a cheaper format. That's why I loved the Hobby Lights. I loved the Hobby Lights. But guess what Tops did to them? They are extinct like the Dodo Bird. They're extinct. They're gone. So those draft hobby light boxes that were really, really good, by the way, which I did buy one a couple of years ago in 2022, I believe. That was the last year they did them. I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed 2022 hobby light draft. Same thing with Platinum Chrome Anniversary. They had hobby lights of that as well. They got to make cheaper boxes. It we don't we don't, you know, have to have you know, parallel after parallel, right? Parallels should be easily pulled in the higher formats. That's no debate, you know? The higher you pay, the higher the chance you have to pull something, right? But just throw a couple exclusive, like, green no, unnumbered parallels or black and white mini diamond parallels, which they used to do, but now they're in other products. They need to make cheaper affordable configurations for these products because what's going to happen not only one you're screwing out hobby stores they are actively trying to kill off hobby stores i don't care if you agree or disagree with that opinion that is a fact that is an absolute fact i have been told time and time again by my card store guy who i'm close with they are screwing him over left and right i can make a whole hour and a half documentary where I interview him, and you could hear it from him yourself. I might one day try to do that, because that would be a great video. It would be. To show how sneaky and, and just deceptive tops and fanatics have become. Number two. By overpricing these boxes, like I said with card stores, you're screwing them out of business, because people don't want to buy them. You're also screwing the collectors who... In previous years, like my friends who bought Finest in years past, didn't do it this year. The tipping point, like I said, the tipping point, it could be 50 bucks, but that's a lot of money for someone who maybe don't have that money. My one friend, my one friend, right, who always buys Finest, he has a baby on the way in, I believe, October. I do believe October. He's trying to buy a house right now as well. He's a huge card collector, went to the National and everything, which I wish I could have went with him, but I had other commitments that weekend, so it sucks I couldn't go, but it was right, it was literally two hours away from me, so it kind of sucks, but it is what it is, right? He can't even buy these boxes no more. He just resorts to buying singles of his Red Sox. He's a Red Sox fan. He just resorts to buying singles on eBay now. It's sad. It really is sad to see what is happening right now in the world in general and in the card collecting scene. I said this time and time again, and I'll say it again to wrap this video up. This uh, this hobby is a rich man's game now. It is absolutely a rich man's game at the end of the at the end of the day, because 
people who are struggling, you know, financially right now, they can't they can't participate in this. They they can't. And if they are, God bless them because they're if they're struggling with, you know, food and bills and things like that, God bless them if they could participate. But a lot of people I know, myself personally, they've quit. And it's only a matter of time before Tops looks themselves in the mirror, mirror and Panini for that matter. Don't act like I'm not I'm not talking about them too cuz I I am. They're just as bad. Something's got to give. So the best advice I can give you, really, is buy singles on eBay, let other people open the product, buy the cards you want, and save a lot of money doing so. That is probably the best advice I can give anybody right now who is in the same boat as like my friends who can't really afford boxes. Just buy singles. That That's going to be the way to go, undoubtedly. Because you're not going to buy boxes to pull parallels. Odds are terrible, and they're only getting worse nowadays in these in these products for retail so it is what it is we something's got to give tops i say this all the time if you want my services i will work for you for free i will literally give you any advice you need to make any product better and i will not let you down it's as simple as that seriously if you want better products Go on their social media, say hire Grip and Rip, and we'll get it done. I'll get it done. But they're incompetent. They're absolutely incompetent. And things need to change. They need to change fast. Or else this hobby is a rich man's game. And there's nothing we can do to stop it. So that's what I'll leave you with today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that conversation. Before we open this blaster box, which I'm going to try to really speed through it because it's already 17 minutes in, let me tell you about today's sponsor of the video. So this video today is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official ticket market of Major League Baseball, and we have partnered up to deliver savings for you guys who watch my videos. So click the link down below, download the app, use my promo code Grip and Rip. That is promo code Grip and Rip at checkout to save. $20 off of your first purchase. So again, that is pr uh, promo code GRIP and RIP to save $20 off of your first purchase. Hey man, think about it like this. Think about it like this. If you use my code, you could use that $20 for a bag of popcorn or a hot dog or a beer or, or whatever. So that's how I look at it. Basically, you could use that $20, save it with a ticket, and... All my friends are texting. What? 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 All right, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. They're all texting me right now. Uh, as I was saying, let's just uh, uh forgot this. Yeah, you know, well, <laughs> forgot that there was a guy on this pack that uh, probably shouldn't be shown on YouTube no more. Completely forgot about that. Oh well, won't show him again. But as I was saying, you could use that money and put it somewhere else, like for some food. So you know, use my code. Seriously, save some money. Have some fun. Have some fun at some games. Um, you know, baseball season's almost over. Football season's right around the corner. College football, you name it. So, let's see what we get here. I don't really know what to expect. Um, that's pretty cool. Is that numbered? I I I don't know. That might be numbered. That might not be numbered. I I don't think it actually is. It is a vintage stock, dude. It feels vintagey. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's you know of a decent player. So that's pretty cool. Uh, purple purple and i will say man they have panini baseball does it right the inserts of panini baseball are fantastic i'll tell you that right now that is one thing i thoroughly 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 enjoy with don russ product and hopefully i can get my hands on some 2024 don russ um but have had some trouble doing so because i let me move these cards i'm knocking them all over um i can't find any yet and hopefully that uh changes so let's see what else we get here um i don't really know what rookies we're really looking for um maybe o'neill cruz i, I think's probably the best in here um there's aaron judge that's in oakland that's pretty cool um reese hoskins so as you see clearly see these logos or these players don't have any logos on their cards um, another purple jose siri that's that's decent 
Uh, Jim Tomei, that's pretty cool. And we got, oh, that's pretty good. J-Rod, rated prospect. Now, this is his rookie year, but um, it's a prospect card. So that's, that's actually pretty good. I'll, I'll take that. Um, I, that might be a sleeve and top load worthy, actually. Um, I don't like to, you know, top load, you know, unlicensed stuff, but that, that might, that might warrant a top load. Let's see what else we got here. Ichiro nickname variation. That's pretty cool. That's something that you also have to look out for, um, with, with these products. Let's see Boba Shet. Candelario, Schwarber, some of these cards. There's normal Ichiro, so we got the, both in the same pack. That's pretty cool. Uh, Crawford, uh, Jose Ramirez. We got a Diamond Kings, Wilson Contreras, Liberty, Parallel. They're not numbered. Um, yeah, they're not numbered. Um, purple, Crawford, a U Darvish Purple, and a Juan Soto Unleashed. I love these inserts. These inserts are pretty cool. I, I will say, as I said... Donruss Baseball has some pretty good inserts. I mean it when I say it. Hopefully, Topps can take some notes. I'd love to see better inserts and base products, but we just haven't got them. I mean, hopefully, we start to get them, but we haven't yet. Brendan Marsh, Raid Rook, yeah, that's, you know, that's decent. Not a Philly, though. He's an angel in this. It's hard to tell, but he's an angel. Josh Donaldson, he's not in the league no more, I don't think. Uh, Ashby, uh, Chris Bassett, Liam Hendricks. You Darvish, uh, Vladdy, uh, Jose Abreu. We got a Luis Urias uh, throwback. Key Brian Hayes, who's not really doing too well no more, unfortunately. That's, oh, look at this. Numbered. Huh, look at that. Ryan Sandberg. That's that's pretty cool. A number. I mean, you can't really tell, but there's a number right, right there. 118 out of 199. Hey, I'll take it. Um, of course, the numbered, like, thing makes it numbered is this like background right there it's like a crisscross pattern I, I don't know that's pretty cool though i like that uh hans kraus we got miguel cabrera that's that's really cool and a bomb squad marcus Semyon. so you know man don Riss, what i'm i've been telling you man i've been telling you how many packs we have left we have two packs left two packs let's see we'll we'll go through these relatively quickly Let's see if we can pull an autograph. Is it possible we can pull an autograph or maybe a relic? We'll find out. Juan Soto, Chaz McCormick, uh, Kelly Jansen, Shane Bieber, Mickey Betts, Bumgarner. I don't think he's even in the league no more. Starling Marte, uh, Whit Merrifield. We have a purple, John Carlos Stanton, Diamond Kings, William Hendricks, purple, and a trending. Byron Buxton, that's pretty cool. I love the inserts, man. Last pack. Let's see. Can we pull an autograph or a relic? I don't know how hard or easy it is to do in this, but we'll see. Maybe. Or are there downtowns in this stuff? I don't even know. Hey, nice one right off the bat. That's pretty cool. Brian Reynolds in a green looking hat. That's pretty, pretty weird. I don't know what that's about. Uh Millville Meteor Mike Trout. Hey, look, a no cruise. So that's probably the best rookie card you're going to get in this product. I have to imagine. IKF, now he's a pirate. He's now a pirate. So that's pretty cool. Um, Bly, uh, Bly Levin. Uh, we have Freddie Freeman. Barry Larkin. Who, of course, I did pull his autograph a couple uh, weeks ago. That's pretty cool. Uh, Nate Lowe. Uh, Luis Garcia. Uh, look at this. Another parallel. Another numbered parallel. This one to 2022. Frankie Montes. Look at that, man. We have an Otto Lopez purple. We got a Trevor Story purple. And the last card is the hit list with Merrifield. Man, these cards are nice. I mean, look how, look how cool that looks. Oh, top. Take some notes, man. Take some notes. Hopefully we get some decent looking parallels. Yeah, two numbered cards. That's that's pretty solid for a blaster box, I would think. So yeah, I'll take it. Gladly. I'd probably get none in a series two blaster, so I'll gladly take that. So guys, that's all I got for you. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.